Ms. McCord, you said this morning at the Financial Times seminar that the government has a number of tools at its disposal, including prosecution. Will the U.S. seek other means uh, other than these indictments to go after the Russians, sanctions, trade limitations? I think those are things that have yet to be determined. We, as you noted, we are committed to using all tools, and we certainly, uh, in this case, we were able to develop the evidence to the point where we were able to bring criminal charges consistent with the standard required for that. But that doesn't mean we won't look to see if there are other tools that might be available. Well, will you look to see if there are other tools? I think we will we will definitely engage in those discussions and considerations. Is expulsion of uh, diplomats one of those? Uh, for this type of uh, matter, that's certainly nothing that we've been, you know, that I'm prepared to address today. Also, uh, real quickly, um, you, you talked about this, uh, two of the indicted or members of the Center 18, which was the FBI's point of contact in Moscow on cybercrime matters, um, and you described it in the press release as beyond the pale. Wouldn't it be just natural that people would use that to exploit this? I think what, what is... Does speak of a certain degree of naivete on the part of the U.S. government? So, um, I don't think it does. The, the point there is these are the very people that we are supposed to work with cooperatively in law enforcement channels. <clears throat> and rather than do that type of work, they actually turned, you know, sort of against that type of work. And I can certainly uh, pass to Paul if he has any additional comments on that. I would just add, we've had li limited cooperation with that element of the Russian government in the past. Uh, in this case, with respect to uh, Bilan, uh, we have asked, he's been charged previously also uh, in one case out of the Northern District of California and also in Nevada back in 2012. We have asked for his return in 2014 through official channels uh, to the Russian government, and we've had no response. Uh, and I think that uh, is reflective of the relationship and the approach we needed to take in this case in terms of the lack of cooperation Does we've gotten. Need to change or end? We, want co we need and have to have cooperation from all international partners in order to resolve cases like this among many other threats that we face. But when we look at this case, and I'm speaking to this case now, um, we expect and hope for their cooperation here and, in fact, post this announcement, we're going to go out with another official request, not just for Mr. Balan again, but also for the other two individuals that are charged here and are residing in Russia now. Somebody, ask a, somebody else asked a question. Next. I, this, this model that you are alleging of FSB officers working with criminal hackers, mm -hmm. is this sort of the new normal that we're seeing in Russia, or was this a deviation from your standard expectation of how these crimes are carried out? And how were you able to make the link that all four of them were in tandem together? So to take your first question, I don't, I'm not going to be specific as to Russia on that. We, we are certainly seeing more and more um, use by nation states of criminal hackers to, um, I, you know, to carry out some of the, their intentions. That I don't think is necessarily unique to Russia in this particular case of the FSB. Um, and the indictment, I think, um, alleges in pretty great detail the conspiracy among these four men, um, the sharing of infrastructure and uh, hacking techniques and tools and procedures, the sharing of the cookies that were minted to be able to gain access into accounts, and the um, really contracting with Baratov to do additional intrusions into account holders at other email providers such as Google. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.